Meanwhile, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is petitioning the U.S. Supreme Court to invalidate the election results in four battleground states won by Joe Biden, based on allegations that have already been debunked. Paxton is challenging the results of Michigan, Georgia, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, and is asking the Supreme Court to order legislatures to pick their state's electors. Joining us now, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel, who called this lawsuit a publicity stunt. Uh, more than a publicity stunt, it's just so damaging, I feel, uh, to have this happening time and time again. What's the motivation here, though? You call it a publicity stunt for what? Well, I mean, there's been a lot of speculation about the fact that, um, you know, A.G. Paxton is under indictment for security frauds right now. For, uh, security fraud, he's facing um, potentially a number of other charges, is being investigated by the FBI. So there's a lot of people who have speculated that potentially he's seeking a pardon from the president and trying to ingratiate himself uh, to the president. But I, I have to say, you know, each one of our states, these four states, have already handled dozens and dozens of cases uh, filed by the Trump campaign or by uh, his supporters. Uh, they've been unsuccessful each and every time. But this is, to me, you know, this post-election process has been like a Friday the 13th movie, you know? And, and you know, no matter how many times you shoot Jason or you stab Jason or you electrocute Jason, he just keeps on coming back at you over and over again, and he just won't stay down. And that, that is what this feels like. But unfortunately, it's an incredible waste of state resources for all of our states. Um, these are ridiculous claims. They have all been vetted out in state courts and in federal courts in all of these states. Uh, the claims have been debunked time and time again, but it continues to erode people's faith and confidence in our electoral system. And that's the real damaging and lasting element of this, unfortunately. Yeah, I worry that I mean, on that last point that you were making, uh, erosion of the confidence in our government, in our constitution, in our country, if some of these uh, Republicans understand the dangers and risks here. Yeah, well, we're talking about potentially, I mean, if the relief sought was actually granted, which no one thinks it actually will be, but we're talking about disenfranchising uh, states that have over 39 million people, over 21 million people in those states voted. Um, and really what A.G. Paxton is asking for, which, by the way, I find so offensive that the Texas A.G. seeks to overturn the will of the voters in four other states that he certainly does not represent. But he's essentially asking that the slate of electors for Biden in all four of these states, where, of course, the election has already been certified, um, be instead uh, overturned and that a slate of electors be chosen by the Republican legislators uh, to reflect a Trump win in all four states where we know very well that Biden won. And in my state, it was by over 150,000 votes. I mean, the vote was not even close. Uh, so everything about this lawsuit is egregious um, and disturbing. But at the same time, we have to take it seriously from the perspective of really, as you said, the lasting damage that it's doing to our democracy. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.